Hello everyone. I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be starting another bi-weekly video series that is called The Signposts, The Momentum of Current Events. This is the introductory episode to The Signposts, and again I'm going to be continuing on with the Infinite Intelligence Reports, which is also every second Sunday. So one Sunday we'll have the Infinite Intelligence Report, the next Sunday will be the signposts. So with this introductory episode, I'm just giving you a little bit of a sneak preview about what the signposts videos are going to be about. So as I've talked about, we're looking at the momentum of great change. We're looking at current events and where I feel a lot of these particular forms of events, kind of looking at them more behind the scenes, is going to take many of us as we move forward in the days, the weeks, the months, and of course the years ahead. Now of course there's been a lot of shifts taking place as of late. A lot of these shifts that are taking place, are wit we are witnessing the complete and total dismantling of everything that is corrupt on this planet. When we look into the idea of how a particular royal figure has now completely left the earth plane in the best way I could put it, although that's not the entire truth. The whole idea of this particular royal figure has been uh, deceased for quite some time. What we are actually seeing is the complete and total dismantling of the psychological operation and the corrupt campaign sur surrounding that particular royal figure. We're also going to be seeing a lot more of a stepping up pertaining to people who are liberating themselves. We're seeing a lot more exposure pertaining to these old plans that have been running their course for a good amount of years. We're going to see everything start to run dry, just like there's so much dry grass around me here. We're seeing everything regarding corrupt agendas, politicians that serve the old regime drying up and falling away. This is the momentum of where things are going. You are going to see mainstream media moving itself into much more of a people-powered light, I would say. They're moving much more in the alignment of the truthers. They're moving much more in the alignment of patriotic nature. So we're going to see a more of an uprising pertaining to those that are following a truther path, a patriotic path, the idea in that sense of watching an old government, an old regime fall apart completely and moving into a much more informative path, a much more exposure-based path. A lot of things are going to be exposed. The mainstream media is now starting to transform itself so that it is going to be much more in alignment with these exposures that are coming together. We are going to witness the complete and total crumbling away of these old leaders and their regimes that have been running things for quite a few years. You're going to see them leave the picture. Some of them may feel like they have deceased, and the reason why I say that is because some of them have already deceased quite some time ago. But we're going to I would say see a lot more where the momentum of a lot of these old leaders that basically carried the flag of the old regime, we're going to see them leave altogether through the narrative. So the narrative is going to be going through some significant changes. We're going to see skirmishes end. We're going to see wars coming to an end here very, very soon. There certainly are attempts to try and create new forms of skirmishes battles and wars, but those will start to fall apart. We may start to see that they're trying to put an ordeal together, a regime together relating to these agendas, but these agendas will not stand. They will fall apart. People are going to be a lot more aware about what is taking place because through the official narrative, there's going to be a lot of exposures to come. The remainder of the end of 2022 is going to be a very large exposure campaign. There's going to be a lot of campaigns relating to uh, greater uh, transformation 
seeing these old leaders fall away, seeing these old agendas run their course, dying away. And of course, one of those big agendas is going to be COVID. So we're going to be seeing an end to that here very soon. Would not surprise me that before the end of the year, we can see so much of the COVID situation drop. I can't say it'll be a 100%, but I'd say the great majority of it dropping away altogether. As far as what is happening upon the planet pertaining to nations, nations are coming together. The whole idea in that sense of the East and the West is that they're actually going to start joining, interlocking here. And any particular form of old regime that tried to keep that or prevent that locking from coming into place is going to slip away. This is why we're seeing so much monumental change pertaining to old leadership, old royals, everything of that nature starting to fall away so that a new bind, a new tethering is going to come together where the East and the West are actually going to work in a lot more cooperation to remove a lot more of the remnant that represents the old regime, the, the, the dark forces, the cabal, whatever you want to call it. All of that is being moved aside now. And there's so much more light. There's so much more assistance. There's so much more togetherness that's taking place right now where we're going to see this momentous transformation come together through the East and the West, where again, nations are going to be working together. And there are also going to be a lot of special operations, or you could even say special forces, uh, I guess you could say specialists that are going to be coming in. And there's going to be a lot more of, uh, you could say, rescue operations pertaining to a lot of people particularly little ones who have been harmed throughout this whole ordeal for a very long time. And we're going to see a lot more of those campaigns and operations come together and bring success to where we as the people are going. So we're seeing again so much new transformation. We're going to see transition taking place. We're going to see the official narrative starting to change. It's kind of like watching this old boat now starting to move into another direction and sail through this new current that's really what's ahead for us. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview of what you can expect as I talk more about the momentum of current events as you get an idea of the signposts as we start to witness them, as they start to come into our view and getting an idea of, again about what is truly happening more so behind the scenes. And again, all we're seeing right now is the fleeting shadow fleeting away further. We're seeing everything that represents cleanup taking a much more prominent role here collectively across the world. It's the cleanup crew, it's internal housekeeping, everything's being swept away. Like I said, a lot of these things have already been done, but they're just basically bringing about as a type of right, uh, coming of age ceremony for the people who are not aware about what is going on. So the reason why these things are happening why all this uh, big shift is taking place is it's all part of the coming of age. It's all about steering humanity in a new direction. Of course, we are the ones that are steering ourselves, but it's coming together in this form of manifestation through the official narrative, through mainstream media, and through other forms of sources that are now going to be a lot more information-based, more to the idea of people that are seeing themselves as truthers and patriots, that's the age that we're now starting to move into, where the idea of the quote-unquote conspiracy theorists who are always ridiculed will now start to be seen as people who are indeed the wise ones, people in that sense who were correct. And so we're going to see a lot more of this movement actually become praised in the short time ahead. So there's a lot more to talk about, but again, I just wanted to give you guys this sneak preview episode. I am doing Infinite Intelligence Report this Sunday as well, too. So again, tune in to the Sunday after next, where I will have the first official episode of the Signposts Momentum of Current Events. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again in another Perspective of the Now. Take care.